More than two years after the January 6th riot, more alleged insurrectionists are being held accountable for their actions. The latest arrest, a Long Island funeral homeowner. News Ford's Greg Sergal is in central Islip, where the suspect just faced a judge. A federal law enforcement team was still collecting evidence late this morning at the Bayport home, ironically called White House Farm. Its owner, Peter Maloney, had been arrested hours before, charged with taking part in the January 6th Capitol insurrection. I'm shocked because I've known the Maloney family. I've lived here forever, and I'm just really surprised that they would be a part of such a thing. Julie McGuire spoke to us across from one of the seven Long Island funeral homes owned by the Maloney family. I didn't ask my son. Through TV ads like this and by hosting funerals for first responders, the Maloney's have fostered an image of trust and compassion. Linda Staub used Maloney for her daughter's funeral. They've always been very kind to us. I think he's an outstanding member of the community. I can't believe that he had done something like that. But according to federal court documents, on January 6, 2021, Peter Maloney came to the Capitol, quote, prepared for violence. Federal prosecutors provided photos and videos from social media to support allegations. Maloney donned a helmet and protective eyewear and sprayed insecticide on police officers and later joined a group striking members of the news media. He did what he did, then he deserves the punishment coming to him. Today, Peter Maloney walked out of federal court without comment after facing a judge. He was released on $100,000 bail and will be allowed to travel to London for his wife's birthday before answering the charges in a Washington, D.C. court. He maintains his innocence, and we'll see where we go from here. According to federal prosecutors, a group of so-called online sedition hunters helped identify Maloney. Their work has led to the arrests of hundreds of January 6th suspects. In Central Islip, Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.